Hey everyone, here's our project for today. We're gonna take this carburetor and we're gonna clean it up so that the ATV it came out of can run like it's supposed to. This particular one came out of a 2004 Predator, Polaris Predator. So here we go. Now I'd recommend putting on some gloves. Makes cleanup a lot easier on your hands. And plus we're dealing with carburetor cleaner here so you don't want that stuff on your hands because it dries them out. And the less chemicals you come into contact with, the better. You also want to put on your safety glasses. Definitely don't want to spray carburetor cleaner in your eyes. Okay, so here's the stuff I'm using. It just came from the local motocross shop. You can get it to much cheaper at Walmart. It's like 99 cents there. This one was $6.99, I think. Yeah, $6.99. Okay, so we're going to start by taking off these four bolts down here at the bottom and remove the bowl. I like to get myself a section of shop towel. Now this thing has been sitting for the past four years and gasoline will actually turn into a beeswax type substance. It'll also go rotten way before then. What I mean by rotten is it's not going to ignite like it should. So here, let's open up this bowl. There we go. You see that old gasoline? It's not nice and clear. Okay, now in here is what we want to take apart. We want to remove this middle piece. That's the jet. That's what's going to be all clogged up. And we're going to soak it with some carburetor cleaner in this mason jar. Now these two items are what's responsible for delivering fuel to your engine. And this is what's going to be all clogged up, so we're going to soak these in some carburetor cleaner. Alright, in order to do that, we're just going to drop these in, right in there. I'm going to take a piece of towel here, and I'm just going to make a little hole in it. I'm going to spray my carburetor cleaner in there. Now when I spray it, I'm going to keep it up against the side so that it's not really making an aerosol and it's just uh, filling the container. And there we go, it's in there, getting soaked. Okay, now we're going to remove this float and we have to take out the pin that's holding it, this little pin right here, if you can see by my left index finger. And normally, you can just pull the pin right out. This one's pressed in a little bit, that or the gasoline is seized it in place, so I'm just going to take my little tool here and knock it out. Inspect this thing right here and make sure that this little piece of rubber is still good and that it's all intact. This is what shuts off fuel to your carburetor. Now this is as far as we're going to take this thing apart. Hopefully it works. From here we're just going to spray out all the little orifices with some carburetor cleaner. You don't want to take this whole thing and dunk it in because then you'll ruin any of the plastic parts that are associated with it like this rubber hose. So if you do do that, just remove anything that is plastic or pliable rubber. Okay, so here are the two jets that we were trying to clean out. And if you look through this first one, this one you can see the hole shining through. But if you take this other one, the smaller one, and this is one that gets clogged up more easily, you can't see any light going through that. If you've ever been trained in automotives, you know that you're not supposed to use a piece of wire or a needle to clean out the jets on a carburetor. But that's what I'm doing here. What I did was took a spring from a pen, I stretched it out, and then I carefully just put it in there until I was able to clear out any gunk. And that worked for me. All right, let's take a look. Now when we hold up our jet to the light. Oh yeah, that looks nice. You can see the light going through. So we wanna make sure that everything's all cleaned up. This is the area with our big old needle that's gonna come in and out to let the fuel go through. Make sure that's all nice and sprayed out. Good. And now we're going to put everything back together. Here's our little tiny jet. This is our fine-tuning fuel delivery. 
There we go. Here's our big one. This is the one that keeps the engine running. There we go, not too tight. You don't want to break anything or strip it out. And then of course I've already put my float back and my little needle into. All right, now we're just gonna put it all back together and a refitting is a reversal of the removal. So just put it back together the way you took it apart.